What's good, everybody? This is your girl, Bella J, and it is a vlog day. I'm bringing you, I'm taking you in here to the corner, a little nook area. I would love for my room to be a little bit more organized, and I'm working on that. It makes me want to get a twin bed just so I can have more space in here. Literally, that's how I'm feeling, to get a twin bed and just calling it a day. A twin bed will make the difference. It'll definitely create a whole lot of space in here. It will definitely free up the space and give me a lot of room to work with. It's really, really a thought. I really just don't want my full-size bed anymore. That's how serious it is. I'm tired. I'm tired of it. I really am. I know. Let me explain to you about this 30 day challenge and why I did it. And what was the sole purpose? What did I get from it? And where do I go next? So the 30 day challenge, I decided to use my birthday month being turning 46 as that midpoint in my life and as a YouTuber, as a content creator to see whether or not I was truly, truly dedicated to my channel and growing my channel because I do want to return to the YouTube space and network with other people. I really feel I have something to say and I have something to share. And you don't have to be a million subscribers in to get recognized. The answer is no. I want to. I want y'all to relate to me. I want us to relate to each other and let you know that I'm a normal person. I'm a normal working nine to five chick who is forty six. I'm. I'm. You know, mid age. You know, I'm forty six. I work full time Monday through Friday. My weekends are free, and I'm single. I don't have really much to do. I'm a homebody. Unless I'm hanging out or there's an event, really. And I really rarely hang out. And on Saturdays, I go to Knitting Circle. This Saturday, I'll be going to Knitting Circle because I have to return the books. I will be with the ladies. And I'm... Um... Oh, excuse me. Mug cream soda. I want to hang out with the ladies. So that's my Saturday. But for the most part, I stay home and I relax. However... Doing this 30-day challenge really opened my eyes as to really helped me with sewing, with using my peaking shears, with being comfortable with the rotary cutter, uh, basically really being dedicated to my channel. And the reality is if your content, if you're not bringing great content or something along, nobody wants to watch. And when I looked at my analytics, I could not believe the watch time was there. Everybody was watching. People would tune in. Laura Frisch, she's amazing. I'm going to post a link to her channel below so you can see what she created during this 30-day challenge. And, and she has a blog as well. I believe so. Yes. The thing of, the ma the thing of it is she did it. For me, that was the best gift that anyone could do for me, which was join me on this journey and sew with me. That is everything. That's everything. I love it. My makeup, I have this young girl complimenting people are watching my mood time. I would encourage you, if you watched any of my videos and you're speechless and you're like, or you liked it, definitely hit the thumbs up or leave a comment or let's engage because I love the comments that I was reading and Samira Samira was sending me emails and I so appreciate it thank you so much Samira um I really want everybody to comment on the channel on my videos but she was the first one to really one of the first one of the few people that have reached out to me via email and really just Honestly, you know, I was happy between Laura and Samira. Uh, thank you very much. And then Miss Madison, I have people from Long Island. Let me tell you something right now. I'm going to tell you right now, not to get off subject, June 30th, I believe it is. The Bronx is having the Ever Food Festival across from Fordham University. The Metro North is right there. Fordham Plaza in the Bronx. 
we're having our first ever vendor markets and I'm going to that and I really want people to come out and meet me. It starts at 4 p.m. It's on a Saturday, I believe. I will definitely keep you updated as to when is it. It's a free event open to everybody, but it's the first one ever in the Bronx and I'm hoping, I am so hoping that it turns out well. And I'm considering of maybe doing, having a goodie bag for whoever meets me. I think that would be nice. You have to be subscribed to my channel. And if you are subscribed to my channel and you definitely are coming, I would love to see you. And you might have a little gift waiting for you. I'm just saying, why not? <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Look. More sewing is coming. We have to finish these quilt tops. I'm not going to do this right now. I want to take a break. I, I really hope that you all respect that. Right now, I'm going through a transition with my job. And in this house, we're trying to get everything organized and prepared for the summertime. Because you know, uh, the way these two days have been, we're going to have an intense summer. And I got to be prepared for that one. Oh, yeah. I would say if you have any suggestions of what you would like me to do create or start up i want you to leave the comments below makeup is coming back makeup tutorials is coming back i'm going to show you all how to feel comfortable with yourself and we're going to talk about confidence and self-esteem at another time and i really want you all to really take care of yourself make you take care of you because if you don't take care of you no one else will I have to take care of myself and I feel much better about myself. Even though I'm wearing makeup and even if I wasn't wearing makeup, I love, I, I appreciate that my grays are gone right now and I'm gonna continue dyeing them right now. I'm trying to let my hair grow so it's a whole lot of things I'm, I'm working with. I am, I am, I am, I am. But we're gonna do this and I want us to take this journey together. This is serious. Whether or not I'm gonna continue vlogging, I don't know. The some, Sunday morning chit chats will return and if it, well, for the most part, if I have something to say, that's what Sunday morning chit-chats are for. I like to use them for updates and everything. And um, if anything happened and we can talk, you know, things of that nature, I like doing that. But I really am trying to work content for my channel. Like, what do we do? Are we going to do knitting? Are we going to do more sewing? More sewing is definitely, these sewing machines got to get to work. You think? Well, listen, I kept you all too long. I love you all. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, um, Samira. Thank you, Lorraine. Is that your name? It's Lorraine. I feel stupid right now. You know who you are. What's up, girly? Shirley, Jones Blues and Jams, everyone, everyone that's left comment on my videos, thank you all. I love you all, and I'm sorry I forgot your names. I didn't write it down at all. I don't plan my videos. I just turn on the camera and I start filming. I love you all. I want to thank you, and I will keep you up to date. I will bring to you when exactly is this food festival that's happening in the Bronx in June in the evening, and I will let you know because I really would like to have some goodie bags just to give away, just to say thank you. Thank you for being awesome. And that's Roberto Blake. You know, he says, create awesome. And I want you all to follow his advice and create awesome. If you're a little guppy on this YouTube channel, keep creating. Do not, do not stop. Continue. With that being said, many blessings. Thank you so much. And I'll see you Sunday for Sunday morning chit chat. Later.